hey guys welcome back to the another video so today video we're gonna talk about that how to become a freelancer or how you can start your freelancing journey so in the last video i shared that pros and cons on the free freelancer or you can check that the complete playlist in my youtube series or on the igtv that i have shared everything about the freelancing from that how i started as a freelancer the pros and cons of the freelancer that then how you can start as a freelancer so like first understand before getting into the depth of the topic first understand what is the freelancing freelancing is something that contract based work you do it for some other company some other businessmen some other clients and you get paid for it doesn't matter what type of work you do obviously you will you have to find your niche we'll get about that topic in later part so this is the same work like it's quite like a daytime job but here you get a lot of freedom to work in you can work anytime you just have to get them results to get them results to your clients and if you can do that then you can obviously start your freelancing journey first understand that freelancing is a very 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 vast vast topic that you cannot we cannot talk about everything in the freelancing but in that freelancing there are the type of the jobs that's available accounting job copywriting job writing job marketing job finance job a lot of jobs are like whatever you think about it that's available in the freelancing you just have to stick to the one or you just have to make expert in that one topic and you can sell that as a service to your clients or to any any person who is working in that field so that the next question comes is that how to find your niche or how to find that you can become expert in that topic it's you can start with whatever you have knowledge about that topic like you can work as a virtual assistant you can work as a copywriter you can work as a content writer you can work as a website designer app developer anything you think about it there are jobs available in the freelancing but the question is how to find that it's important to start with whatever you have then explore every other field like i always say that it's important to become a jack of all trade and master of none if you know that quote i believe that is important to have jack of all trades if you have fair knowledge of every other field then you can think whatever you like you can work in that field like i personally work in the marketing field uh, facebook ads or i help other businesses to grow their online presence or to make them leads or make them uh, make their online impact in the world so that's what i do but before that i did my writing i did my content writing i did a copywriting job also i tried some accounting job also but i quit that because i think this is not something for me so i stick to the marketing field always because this is something i love every time i do i feel every other the next level that comes to me that every other clients expect something new from me so that's what i work for so it's important to find your niche whether it's you want to work in web designing whether you want to uh, work as an app developer whether you want to work in a mechanical sorry whether you work as a design engineer or it's it's important to find that niche so when it comes to the finding the niche try every other field that is possible whatever you get project start working on it and how to start working on it like whatever you have whether it's website designing learn from it build that skill then and then only you can think about the freelancing journey so when you understand like after doing 3 4 projects or after doing 3 4 website designing one to app developer or working in the marketing field you you can like after doing 10 jobs you can finalize the one thing that you must like or you like a lot then you can master that key skill like i started as a started i i tried every other field that i come to know that okay marketing is something that i can work from then the go, go on the udemy or go on the youtube go on the google learn everything about that skill like literally master that skill that no one can beat you in that field so you have to master that skill when you master that skill you become expert in that field so whatever the project comes to you you can do it like easily so that's how the freelancing the works freelancing world works if you are expert in something stick to that you can try obviously you can try other field also because it's important to expand your horizon of thinking you are knowledge or your logical capacity you have to expand that every other day otherwise it's not going to work so but finding your niche is very important whether it's marketing whether it's accounting whether it's data entry or whatever you like it depends on you depends on what you like and you can work on it like website designing app development or the coding part these have a lot of jobs available in the freelancing 
I'm going to make another video that what type of high paying jobs that you can work with or you can think about it. But it's important to know that what you like. Otherwise, after some projects, you get bored and you can think about the quit. And if the money doesn't come, then you will feel that this is not something for you. So stick to the one, master that skill, become an expert in that field and then think about it. Like if I want to give my example, if you have seen me two, three years back, I have no idea about the book reviewing. Like literally I have no idea that this field also exists. But over the period of that, that I mastered the book reviewing part and if some author comes to my profile they scroll to my instagram profile they will see that okay he has done a lot of review he has expertise expertise in it so they directly come to the they directly message me they want me to review their book so i don't have to work for that directly i have worked over the past two three years now don't have to go for that go and pitch every other author about it it automatically comes to me so this is how when you become expert in something that clients or whatever the amount you get directly it becomes automated over the period of time but first you have to expert that thing so when you become expert that thing is when you develop that skill you have to search for the clients so when it comes to the search search for the clients you have to build your personal brand so you can work as a business or you can be work as a personal brand. I will suggest you to work as a personal brand. See, business is something you have to hide your face under that business names. But when you build your personal brand, that becomes your identity. Like if you know me, Ronak underscore blog. If you go on the Facebook, that's Ronak blog. If you go on the Twitter, if you go on the LinkedIn, if you go on the website, everything is under that name Ronak blog. So now you know me as a Ronak blog so that's become my personal brand so i'm going to share how to do that personal brand in another video but you have to build your personal brand so when you build your personal brand it's important to have some clients so how you can start as a client so first thing is the basic example if you know some web designing what you will do to get clients so basically start pitching your friends start your asking your friends cousins if they need a website or if they need something app development pitching them do work that for free and you will have some testimonials for your website or everything whatever you are doing for your personal brand so this is important unless you have testimonials you can pitch to the international clients or you can pitch to the another clients so it's important to have some testimonials from other people so when you have it you can start pitching to the clients so important that you have to build your personal brand when you are building your personal brand should remember that what your marketing services, what are your services you're gonna pitch to the client. If it's like, I'm giving the example of website designing because that's the easier part to relate. So ask your friends, ask your cousins, ask every relative if they need a website, work on them, develop their website and make their testimonials on your website. So by this, you will have some personal brand. People can like validate your work on that basis so next part about the freelancing is you have to get visible like it's important to get visible to the audience otherwise no one is going to appreciate no one is no one is going no one is going to be your client so when it comes to the client to have unless you have clients you can't make money so client are the important part of the freelancing journey so how to get that client you have to get visible to the world you have to get visible to the everyone around you if you don't do that you if you hide your face if you hide everything whatever you do you are not going to get clients so like if you go two years back no one knows me like literally i have no idea about my online presence i have nothing but over the two two years i have built my personal brand that is ronak blog that's my personal brand where i sell my services where i sell my book review where i sell everything that's from that website that's from instagram profile then i started to building my personal brand now a lot of people knows me if they come to my profile they visit it they scroll it and now they know me very well so this is how i build my personal brand over the two years now it's work on the referring basis so i don't have too much look for the clients so but this is how i started and you have to go through this all you can't just be shy and skip to the camera skip to the faces you if you can't do a if you are a camera shy person then you have to get rid of it you have to make your presence in the online world
so you have to build your website you have to build your portfolio and show that pitch that portfolio to every other client after that you have to get visible when you become visible it's easier to get clients than not having like if you are a personal brand it's easier to get visible get visible and probably over the period of time clients start comes to you like you don't have to go and find your clients client comes to you and you can work with them so these are the some basics you should remember why you are when you are starting as a freelancer or if you want to become a freelancer i have covered almost that essentially important points that if you are starting i still have many points to cover but i will make it another video for that so if you want to starting as a freelancer let them let me know in the comment section visit my instagram profile follow me where i share a lot of things so that's all for this today's video see you in the next one